Hey guys, Justin Morgan here, and I am on the line today with Samantha Iason, who's also known on Facebook as Sammy Haya, and um, we are just talking about some aspects of health, fitness, and bodybuilding, and Sammy is a vegan uh, fitness model. Uh, she is also a strength athlete and does uh, that in several different capacities. And what impressed me so much about Sammy that I asked her if she would do an interview with us today is that she not only does the fitness model type thing and um, aspects of aesthetics, but she is also a legitimate strength athlete and she competes in that, um, in that arena as well. So uh, say hi, Sammy. Hi. <laughs> Okay, so uh, lots of people on the, the Facebook pages had uh, questions for you, and I thought as kind of a good way to start out, we had uh, just start out with some personal information um, regarding uh, what was it that caused you to become a vegan and uh, to kind of adopt uh, the plant-based lifestyle that you do. Okay. Um... Well, uh, I started training in uh, January 2009, and not long after, um, I, I started competing. And um, the, I was doing the typical uh, bodybuilding diet with very high um, animal protein and uh, low-carb type of diet, and they were really, really hard to do. I had low energy, I had uh, to uh, use fat burners and uh, consume a lot of caffeine just to get through the day. And after a while, about a year, uh, a year uh, competing, um, in about, I would say in um, August 28th was the last time that, uh, August 28, 2010 was the last time I ate meat, and it's because I was simply disgusted by it. I couldn't eat any, I couldn't even see a, a chicken breast anymore or beef. I, I just had enough. So I quit cold turkey. That's pretty much what happened. I really couldn't uh, have any more um, egg whites. I couldn't have any more chicken breast. I couldn't have any more uh, beef. I just stopped. And how long? And I didn't have anybody, uh, I, I didn't know any vegan uh, fitness athlete. It, it just, uh, happen on my um, happen on my own pretty much. I just decided that I couldn't have meat anymore. Wow, that's really good. How long had you been training at that point? Well, like I said, I started um, well bodybuilding in January two thousand nine. Okay, so you you trained for about a year and then you switched over to the vegan diet. Yeah, about a year and a half, I would say. Yeah, exactly. And you didn't know anyone at that time? They were all just, like, you didn't know any other vegans or any influence? It was just... Nope. Now, that's, that's awesome. That's great to hear. Um, did you notice, what kind of no, uh, changes did you notice uh, initially uh, when you changed over? And how did you choose to implement the vegan diet uh, that you, you know, went on to initially when, when you changed in 2010? Well, first, in 2010, I... Uh, I switched to, to a vegetarian diet. It lasted about a month. I gained tons of weight because I had a, a pasta and a rice fest and cheese and all kinds of junk. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really not great for my shape. It lasted a month, and that's when I decided to, um, to uh, find um, uh, um, advice, uh, get advice from uh, uh, an a vegan athlete. His name was she is Sherif Kamal. He's a raw vegan athlete, and um, oh yeah, he's, he's uh, like I think he goes by like the the Nature's Fitness model or something exactly, like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've heard of him. And uh, he actually prepared me for uh, my uh, a competition that I did uh, the next year, and it was a raw vegan preparation. Yeah, for six months exactly. And, uh, yeah. Okay, and uh, just uh, moving on a little bit, uh, I had a, a few questions here. This question seemed to come up a lot, and it was, are you single, and could they get your number? 
I, d- I don't recommend handing that out, by the way. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, I am single, but I don't think I will just, like, give my number <laughs> on YouTube. That was, I think uh, it's a good idea. <laughs> well, I won't share their names. I was going to say. No. Okay. But, um, okay, well, let's go ahead and move on to uh, the training. We'll probably cover a little bit more about that. Uh, but I, I want, uh, well, actually, Ironclad Ben is also on YouTube, and uh, he asked the question, do you even lift? <laughs> well, I do, yes. Uh, <laughs> he, he, was jo- he was joking. I don't want to take that uh, seriously. Um, but now, this is a, a legitimate question. What types of workouts do you follow, and do they change based on whether you're preparing for a, uh, like a bodybuilding competition or a strongman or, or some type of strength competition, and how do you choose to implement those? Well, um, the core of my training program is built around heavy compound lifts, even if it's for bodybuilding or a strong uh, men competition. Uh, I usually always have squats, deadlift, bench press, pull-ups, uh, overhead press, and the rest are just, I would say, accessory work. Um, that, that's pretty much it. I always do these lifts, and the rest are uh, just to, to um, help with my weaknesses. That's pretty much it. Excellent. And uh, what about cardio? Do you do, you do cardio? Um, no. None at all? <laughs> no. Well, usually when I prepare for a bodybuilding competition, I do do uh, long, steady cardio, but uh, I don't, right now, no. Now I'm preparing for strongman competition. I only do, I only do sprints, uh, HIIT, Tabata type of uh, uh, workouts, not, not, card, not long, steady cardio. Okay, okay. And um, how, how about how long are your training sessions generally? About an hour, an hour to an hour and a half, yeah. Okay, now I understand, uh, I think I saw on your page, you do some CrossFit and things like that. Does that, you still do that or? Right now, not as much. I maybe do it once every, once every nine days, exactly. Yeah, I do CrossFit once every nine days. What I do, um, my day one would be deadlifts, day two, uh, overhead presses and a bench press. And I, I have uh, on my third day CrossFit workout. I take a break and I start uh, again my training with squats, clean and jerk, and uh, snatch. So I have an Olympic lift day. And my, uh, my sixth day is uh, the event day where I train uh, tire flip, stone, logs, farmer walk, uh, medley, yoke, and, you know, with the rest of the strongman events. Well, that sounds intense. I can't wait till we get to the diet to see how you fuel that. Um, ha, uh, well, this was a good question somebody asked. I'm anxious to see how you answer it. Uh, are you always show ready? Not always show. No, right now I'm not even... No, I'm not show ready at all. I'm not training to be show ready. <laughs> I don't... Uh, I, I'm not trying to lean down. How I'm long does it take about, you to prepare? Pardon me? How long does it take for you to prepare? About five to six weeks. Oh, that's pretty good. I know. Normally, people have to need 12 weeks, but I don't like to, to diet it down a long time. Usually, six weeks is more than enough. I've done the 12 weeks before when I was omnivore, but uh, since I became vegan, the, the max was six weeks, so... Excellent. So, Sammy, what do you have any specific goals for this year that you're looking forward to? Well, yes, I'm training really hard to, uh, believe it or not, to to set a world rec- record um, for the farmer walk event. So, um, my goal in the beginning, my goal was to um, uh, farmer walk car- farmer carry. Um, um, for a distance made pro- uh, approximately of uh, 100 feet. But then, on YouTube, I saw a girl <laughs> do the same 
with 250, no problem, super fast. And after I saw, or saw another YouTube um, strong woman athlete uh, carry 275. So I guess my goal now is to uh, get to 300 pounds wow. for 100 feet. Right now, well, um, my goal is to be able to do it uh, before 2015. Even if, if it's December, at the end of December, I will try my best uh, to, to do it. Right now, I'm at 200 pounds each end. It, I still have a long way to go, but uh, I think it, I can manage to, to, um, to be able to, to set that world record. And it's uh, Patrick Baboumian, actually, that yeah. inspired me to do uh, this event. And... That's what I'm, I've, I've been doing since, uh, since when? Since November. Uh, I often practice the, the, the former walk. Um, not exactly in my event day, but uh, usually it's after the, the um, overhead uh, press day. And sometimes in, in the event day. And right now, uh, yeah, I'm at 200 each end. My, my goal is to be able to carry uh, a total of 600. Now I'm at 400 pounds. Wow. And what is, what is your current body weight? My current body weight, I'm 163, uh, 163 pounds. I'm 5 foot 7. And uh, my, my body fat is approximately around 16, uh, 16 17, I would say. Uh, so yes, I carry uh, uh, a quite a good uh, muscle mass. Let's say. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good for a woman, especially. Well, excellent. Thank you. Uh, now I'd kind of like to go into uh, some diet questions. Uh, you know, we we already discussed that you became a vegetarian and then a vegan in um, two thousand ten. 